गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे क्लास इलेवेंथ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फोर फ्रॉम द बुक हॉर्न बिल एंड द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज लैंडस्केप ऑफ द सॉल कंपोज बाय और रिटन बाय नैथली ट्रॉवरे नैथली ट्रॉवरे सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द चैप्टर लेट्स have some discussion on the title landscape of the soul dear children this particular chapter talks about painting first thing painting okay got it second thing creativity as painting is painting uh, is incomplete without creativity we know it very well and next thing it also talks about some kind of spiritual approach of our life and as we people uh, have not heard any or have not seen any kind of thing related to china especially in painting in this chapter we will have something like that but landscape means living uh, non living thing like of the shawl this landscape refer to painting in this chapter we will come to know that there had been so many great painters who had a great creativity to make the painting alive shawl means living thing okay so there had been some people in china and in some other part of the world those who put shawl in their painting so in this one we will get to know about such things landscape of the soul it like it talks about the painting in which some kind of soul works then now come to the content part what do we have in this one first thing about the painter the chapter starts with the chinese painter okay wu dao ji okay and uh, wu dao ji was a great painter of china and the emperor means tang emperor zhuang zhong ordered him to make a painting to decorate his palace wall okay and uh, this is a chinese classical story mind it and the condition was that without this emperor nobody could see that painting first time so wu dao ji what did he do he hide himself in a house and started working behind a screen only the emperor could see only this person could see that painting first time and thereafter it would be it would become a public painting but first thing was that this painting should be seen first of all by the emperor so in a block of the building wu dao ji started painting nobody could see him for a long while the emperor admired the wonderful scene as the painting completed by wu dao ji first time when the tang emperor zhuang zhong observed the painting look at the painting or what the painting he admired it totally that it was such a nice one in which it was a wonderful scene discovering forest high mountain waterfalls clouds floating in immense sky men hilly path birds like that completely we can say the painting was natural means in the lap of nature in which rivers birds animals human being mountain forest like all these things were there so there was a cave in the painting in the painting there was a cave there was a gate and uh, the emperor was told by wu dao ji that let's have one clap and the gate will open okay the painter clapped and in the painting the entrance of the cave opened and as the gate opened the painter entered the cave 
and entertained uh, and entrance was closed means the gate was closed and after that day children after that the emperor tang emperor could not see the painter anymore this is landscape of the soul i just told you one story only in this we have in this chapter we have some other stories like that like when a painter makes a painting okay and as he claps the gate opens in the painting he enters and after that he is no more where does the painter go nobody could know okay this is the real painting in which we have some kind of soul second thing after that just come to next point a blacksmith love story okay a master blacksmith called his name was quentin mesty quentin mesty okay he was in love with the painter's daughter and the father of daughter means the painter was on his term that uh, you should marry at least a painter boy and means he said the father of daughter was ready to accept a son in law in such a profession who should be a painter okay and but the boy was blacksmith that was the problem so uh one day this boy enters in the painter's studio and painted a fly not a house fly simple fly on the screen okay and the master tried to sweat in wave before he realized that he had happened quentin was immediately admitted as an apprentice into his studio means to say when the painter himself look at, looks at the fly it was so real it this fly made by the blacksmith was so real and on the spot the father of the daughter accept that blacksmith boy to become his uh disciple okay to become his student and later on that blacksmith married his beloved and went to become one of the most important or most famous painter of his age okay this is the second story of blacksmith first story chinese story and second is also chinese story no doubt but both of them they talk about realism in his painting realism in painting in first painting the the painter himself went away in second painting the blacksmith boy painted a fly which was so real okay now next thing very important thing uh, we have a difference between classical chinese uh, landscape and european painting my dear children a classical chinese landscape is not mean to produce an actual view it is actually a figurative painting whereas the european painting wants you to borrow his eyes and look at the particular landscape exactly as he saw it from the specific angle it means intensive okay he uh, now the chinese painter does not choose a single view point his landscape is not a real one and you can enter it from any point like gudauji enters travel throughout then and then went where and then go wherever you want okay the chinese painter does not want you to borrow his eyes okay in chinese what do we have we have approach to the mind okay and but in european what we have conceptual that we will read in the chapter i just tell you uh, a brief one the classical chinese landscape they require your mindset while european painting they require conceptual approach okay this is the difference lies between like chinese and european 
after that we have a concept of shen shui i dear children i just tell you two things shen shui you might have this one also shen shui this is also chinese and this is also chinese but here we need to mug up this word shen shui means mountain water this is chinese word and this is the simple simplified meaning of this particular word and this word is changed into two things mountain is yang and water is ying it means yang ying okay and this is again about daoist daoist means wu dao ji daoist okay a belief or a trust started by dao wu dao ji it's called daoist approach in yang and in what is yang and in mountain water and what is mountain water shen shui that we have in this chapter and after that exemplification of three things outside art that requires only your eye art brute same and raw art that requires your mindset for example we have rock garden in chandigarh sculptured by nick chand okay dear students so this is the chapter this i told you the outline of the chapter in which we have a uh, painting especially two or three chinese stories and one indian like nick chand in which he started drafting about rock garden and i just tell you one more thing french painter there was french french painter and french painter name was jean debut jean debut so three thing three different nations we have like indian nature chinese wu dao ji and third one is french painter okay and he has this particular art brut concept who has this french painter okay and the art of untrained visionary was of minority interest from its almost beginning outside art as, as i told you outside art means just we see by the eyes okay and art brut means those who are untrained visionary means the the painter who require some kind of inner approach then raw means mind what we can do so i just tell you what is raw brut before uh, sculpturing of this rock garden nick chand approached with raw art means he collected raw material we know the rock garden image of is made of uh you can say scraps okay so that is raw art then art brut the beginning and then outside art just to look so by the end of chapter we will come to know about these three terms and uh, last thing about raw garden is this is the realm realm of nature real of nature okay got it that is over about this chapter outline of the chapter landscape of the soul and after that in next video we will be doing reading of this chapter till then take care have a good day thank you